What's up, guys? It's me, your pet ass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we uh, we kind of did something. Now, as we started up Pokemon Ultra Moon, kind of you know skipped over the whole sun thing because, well, don't really have enough time for that. I kind of got my way around it, but I wanted to try this one. You know, the game that I've never played. Now, in our last episode, yes, we got ourselves a new Pokemon by the name of Zerlina. Now, I get it. It's a female's name. Hear me out. Eventually, I'll be turning this Pokemon into a female because, well, I, I just learned that it's 85% chance of being male. And, you know, 15, it's got to be the female. So, I'm not going to wait that long just to get myself a female. Why a female? Well... It's more of a dedication than anything. So, anywho, let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right here. I guess we have to go to Professor What's-His-Face. Not right here. Then we have to go up top. Not that way. Oh, we have to go to the Professor's lab. Lily is calling us. My bad. Okay, so which way do I have to go? Not right there. We don't see anybody. We're going to be going down here. And there is Lily, and she's going to be like... You can reach the professor's lab by tre uh, trading through the tall grass here. He says he can research moves better when he is surrounded by Pokemon. Hmm, that is pretty cool. And uh, since I'm not a trainer, though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. You do know that using repels keep Pokemon uh, from attacking, right? Yeah. And about Nebby. Oh, I mean, Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. <laughs> and, of course, it's, you know, it's going pew, pew, you know, that kind of stuff. It seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was uh, in danger, but some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only the Professor and the Kahuna Hala and the other people I, I, tr I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anybody else about Nebby or what happened at the bridge, please? Hmm, yeah, don't worry. Oh, Draven, do you want to know uh, something neat? Probably. I don't know, I think I know a lot. And she's going to be like, you can reach the Pokemon Research Lab without having to go through the patches of grass, the tall grass, and jump from this ledge. Just like this. Hip. Okay. If you'd like to take a shortcut, I suggest you try, uh, try it. I'll be heading to the lab now. See you there. Now, if you guys don't remember, in Pokemon uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Sun and Moon, we have a lot of instruction. So, yeah, I get it. Quite a, <laughs> it is a lot, it, it really is a lot to, to, to go through. But what we're going to be doing right here right now is we're going to be entertaining you guys with some Pokemon battle. And uh, I really wish they would have kept the old songs from Pokemon Sun and Moon. It was much better. So here we are taking on an Inkay, I think. And Zerlina is ready to go. Zerlina is looking pretty uh, fantastic right here. So... Let's go straight for an Ember attack. Now remember, Inkay is both a Dark and Psychic type Pokemon, so there is a uh, there is a a huge immunity to all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and go straight for another Ember attack right here. Look at that, Inkay, not liking itself. It's gonna turn around, use a what was it called? A Barrier attack. Okay, so one more time. Let's go straight for. Ember attack for the win, and just like that, we have one, another one. Kevin, not liking us right now. He really isn't. So, let's see. What does he have to say? Nothing. Nothing at all because he's lost. And as many of you guys already know, I do like myself some free items. So let's go right ahead and grab that. Yes, sir. Getting our, ourselves an awakening right there. Uh, we might get attacked by a Pokemon here and there. We might get attacked by a Pokemon trainer here and there. And she just looked at us. And she's like. Alola, check out my cute Pokemon. I just saw a Murkrow. I think it's a better Pokemon, probably. I don't even know. So here we are taking on Last Madison, and she is going to be going out with a Young Goose. Yeah, it kind of knows. It kind of, it, it, it kind of uh, reminds us of a little somebody here. We're not going to talk about him, so let's go right ahead and go straight for an Ember attack. Just to grow some levels. Look at this. Kitty cat on its way. Young goose. Not looking pretty, uh... Oh, it's looking pretty mean right here. So, let's go right ahead and go straight for another ember attack. And just like that, young goose has been defeated. I am happy about that. And, well, Zerlina grows the level 10. And, well, we have defeated last Madison. We are 
We are good. We are fantastic. We are great. We're better than everybody, I think. Okay, so that's another victory for us right there. I think there might be one more trainer that we, like, completely forgot about. And, you know what? Whatever. So, as you guys can see, yeah, there is a trainer right there, I think. But what's going to happen right now is we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon. And as you guys can see right here, we're getting attacked by a Slowpoke. Yeah, we're not going for that. But, you know, the experience actually does help. So let's go straight for a Lick Attack since it is a Psychic-type Pokemon. And, well, that's some pretty super effective moves. But here comes a Growl Attack. Don't know why. And, well, let's go right ahead and do another Lick Attack right here. And, yes, this Pokemon is paralyzed. There is something that I kind of want to do, and that is I want to capture it. I'm not going to use him on my team, but it is uh, very alluring to try and capture this Pokemon. So here we go. We're going to capture this Slowpoke. And the great thing is that now capturing Pokemon, you can actually gain experience points through that. So that's probably a, that's probably a darn good feature that they added. So, there you go, guys. We have defeated or captured ourselves a Slowpoke. And, well, it looks like we have to groom our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and take a look at his Pokedex entry. Look at this. Bam. Slowpokes. That's pretty cool right there. Okay, so here we have the dopey Pokemon Slowpoke. Although their tails, which falls off naturally, can easily be found lying around. They are a precious ingredient for cooking. I don't know why that is. And we're not going to be... We're not going to be nicknaming that Pokemon. Just remember, guys, Pokemon that we capture, not going to nickname. And our Pokemon is a little wet right now, so I'm going to blow dry this. Don't know where we have the kit. I think we have it in our bag or something like that. And here we go. There it is. And just like that, we're not going to feed you right now. We're just going to move on ahead. And, well, that's that. And I kind of still want to talk to the Pokemon trainer right there. If I can. And the Pokemon I've got with me are all grass type. I'm looking for some water type Pokemon for my team so I can beat fire types too. Oh, good coverage. And as you guys can see, this is starting to look at rock. Maybe a powerful Pokemon can break it, which uh, we will eventually find that. And well, here we are in front of the professor's lab. And wow, somebody's catching in a, a you know, whooping. And well, Kukui's like, oh yeah, Rob Ruff, let's go. Give it all, everything you got. My body is ready. Woo! Ah, uh, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been um, imposing on the professor here for the last or the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd, I'd be more of help if I were if I were a real Pokemon trainer too. And wow, somebody somebody got. Yeah, somebody got messed up in there. The professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. And I had just washed his lab coat and finally got it clean too. Now it, it's all in shreds. And I'm not good at mending clothes. So he'll just have to buy another one, or a new one. We we should probably go into in before he does any more damage. Probably. We, we're probably going to have to do that. So, let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. I am getting messages like nobody's business. And, well, look at that. We are looking We are looking at the professor's lab. And, wow, they're just giggling up. <laughs> they're just laughing it up. And he's like, hey there, Draven. Thanks for getting him for me, Lily. And he's going to be coming straight towards us. He's going to be like... Of course, however, I can I can be a help. I am supposed to be your assistant, right? Rock Ruff's uh, moves were just so, so styling, and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Draven, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? Okay. And, well, he's gonna be like, so what do you think of this uh, the place? Not bad, right? But that's not why I called you here, eh? Here, it's finally arrived. It... What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do it all. Uh, do, do all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Rotom? Okay, really? All I can tell you about Rotom. It is a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something electricity. Uh, electricity. Of, of something like electricity, it can be. It can make uh, take up residence in, in machines. Yeah, buddy. And uh, to put that crazy skill of Rotom to work. 
It's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into this uh, body, uh, body specifically developed for it. A whole new way for people and Pokemon to com uh, communicate. Woo! And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. And so if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in... Hmm. Look at this. Huh. And just like that, we got Rotom right here. Hey now, sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Zzz, oh wow. Rotom! Here boy, I powered up your favorite decks. Give Draven here a helping hand, yeah? And, well, it, it, it's giving us a helping hand. And... There you go. We got ourselves a Rotom. Now, shouldn't we, like, should this count as a capture? I just want to know. Uh, hey there, prof uh, Professor. Uh, pleasure to meet you. I am not nervous, and I didn't read the rest of that stuff. Check it out, Draven. Now Rotom can talk right back to you. It may take a, a little while to get used to its new job, but it, I'd say Rotom's taken a liking to you. Hmm. Probably. It probably is. Now, I just remembered something. I do have the pen right here on my other DS, or 3DS, and this will help exactly... Draven hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him a special Protom Dex to help him navigate around. Thank you very much, and well, let's see. You can see where you're headed just by looking at the Rotom if you just give it a little tap. You can even check out the town map. And after that, here we have our rival slash friend, I guess. How? And he's like, Alola! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa! Ho <laughs> ho! And he's just looking around. He's just in amazement. He's like, what the heck? Is that a loft? That's awesome. And Lily's like, no, it's it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Draven? How? And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there up there in the loft. Hmm. So, Draven, I'm leaving this uh, Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Draven, yeah? So that's a Rotom Dex, eh? It's kind of cute. All right then, Draven, you too, Hal. Get a move on. Uh, okay. To the trainer school. You've got to learn all the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through the Pokemon battling. It's a long road to becoming the Island Challenge champion, and the trainer school is the first step. What about you, Hal? He's just looking, he's like, I'm good, I just want to play with my Pokemon. So, is he a rival or is he a friend? I'm just kind of wondering, guys. The Island Challenge. So, this is how people in uh, of, of Alola connect with the world around them. And then there's the way that you uh, you and Linton both can choose one another, and now that Rotom's helping you out as well. Even Nebby likes you. I guess there's something about you that makes Pokemon feel comfortable when they're uh, by your side. Lily, you take care of Draven, right? Until he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. Ah, okay, so Lily's gonna be helping us. And, well, Rotom is looking at us, he's like, feel free to have a little poke around. And, I'm gonna be poking around right here. I just poked around again, so let's go right ahead and do this, uh... Well, let's go outside. If you guys can tell by the map, it's already letting us know where we need to be. And, once we step outside, Lily's gonna be like, the Pokemon Center is practically right next to your house, isn't it, Draven? I didn't know that. Uh, what's going on here? Everything has fallen into darkness. This is new. Pew! Nebby, don't worry, it's okay. This must be what they call a lunar eclipse. It happens to be when the moon get, gets covered up. Hmm. Was a lunar eclipse forecast for today? Ah, well, it must have some kind of good omen, uh, yeah? And, oh man, you think something good will happen? Yeah, he's just nodding around, he's like... Sure, a long, long time ago, Alola was cloaked in darkness, yeah? But people say that it's when Alola people and Pokemon blasted all the darkness away with light. And they also say that that's why people started gathering Z-Crystals and the custom turned into the Island Challenge. Hmm, that makes sense. Draven, now that you've got the, the Z-Power Ring, I hope that you collect tons of Z-Crystals too. Uh, that's exactly what a, a move researcher like me needs to uncover the new secrets. Professor, that's not why he's supposed to be doing it. Come on, Draven, I'll show you the Pokemon Center. Okay, so... Rotom is telling us, uh, everything went black all of a sudden. I thought I might be out of batteries. You know, right? Eh, 
at least the professor thinks it's a good sign, huh? Let's hope uh, he's right. Okay, so maybe a nice visit to the Pokemon Center will have us feeling a bit of no time. I'll flag it on the map for you. Hmm. See, very helpful. And scratching my eye yet again. Let us move on right here. There is a Murkrow just flying around right here. And eventually we're going to be fishing around right here. And oh, well, we, we got a challenger. The Calm Sea or the Stormy Sea. Which do you prefer? I, I say the Calm Sea because it's, it's fantastic. It is awesome. It is gravy sauce. So here we are taking on swimmer Natasha. And she will be coming out with a Wingle right here. And your boy coming out with Zerlina. Unfortunately, we are at a type disadvantage. We're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna be doing something right here. Let's go Scratch Attack. See what this is all about. Scratch Attack. And Supersonic has failed. So let's go right ahead and use another Scratch Attack. Zerlina going in again. And here comes... A growl attack, which will lower our physical attack. And, well, here we go. One more time. A scratch attack. Yes. And just like that, we have defeated Wingle. We will get some more points, and we have to care for our Pokemon, because apparently it gets wet. Oh, I don't know. So, oh, yeah, we have a Pokemon paralyzed. So now that it's under our care, we get this little button right here, and we are rubbing it. Making sure it's no longer paralyzed. Believe it or not, guys, you can heal these. Uh, you can heal your Pokemon just like this, making uh, well, making it easier for you to just like, yeah, ma making it easier for you to heal Pokemon and not waste any kind of uh, needed items for like the future. So let's go right ahead and move on to the next thing, and that is going to the Pokemon Center without getting attacked by a Pokemon, which is impossible. As you guys can see, we're getting attacked. Alrighty, here we are. And we're getting attacked by a Wingle. I do want to capture it, not just because, uh... Well, I kind of want to escape, so let's go right ahead and get out of here. We got business to take care of, guys. And, uh... Well, let's see. Let's get out of here. So... I'm going to stop right here just a little bit, guys, because time limit is coming up. I will be right back. Okay, so we're back. And, well, we're going to be going straight to the Pokemon Center right next to our house. And it looks like the road has been uncovered. Look at this. So Lily's like, here, let me show you the Pokemon Center and follow me. Okay, Lily is just being a sweetheart right now. And, well, as you guys can see, Lily is introducing us to the Pokemon Center. If you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. We already know. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. That right there, you can deposit Pokemon into the PC here, take them out. And that right there. And at the Pokemon, you can buy all kinds of items you should help during your trials. I'd take a look if I were you. And well, over there is a cafe area. I like to relax there sometimes with a frosty glass of Moo Moo Milk. I read something in a travel guide about Alola once. Apparently, each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick uh, uh, what to serve. The cafes may also offer more than just drinks. I heard they can also sell special treats and that sometimes the staff have tips to travel goers. Ah, oh, look at that. We should head over to the trainer school next. But your Pokemon have been taken care of uh, first if you, think that's what, if, they, if you think that they need a little aid. Yes, they do. Okay, so we're going to stop right here, guys. Um, there's quite a few things that I want to do for the next episode. I know, at the bottom of the screen or wherever I put it, we're close to the trainer school. But I kind of want to be prepared for this one right here. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for all your patience. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon walkthrough. See you guys.